Good evening. Thanks for joining us. I'm Dustin Lukey. Heather will be with us in just a little bit. First, just last month, the lacrosse area got another option to help stock the pantry, which has prompted some discussion on where to find the best prices. News 19's Colton M. Swiler compared some popular items and spoke with experts, finding out that price disparities are not a coincidence. In some places, you might find a product uh, priced below another store, and in another store, you might find it priced above. That's just the nature of the grocery industry. Uh, you can go down to any city, like La Crosse, and have your choice of a half dozen grocery stores, and probably a half dozen different types of pricing strategies. They are trying to find a way to maybe make that cost not as painful. It's a competitive market, and you, you know, you're going to have to try and meet the price of your competition or be very close. That's what experts are saying with regard to the cost of food. The Cooley region has tons of options for grocery stores and the price of the exact same item can vary at these locations. Take shredded cheddar cheese, for example. A pound of the Wisconsin staple is close to $2 cheaper at Woodman's compared to Hy-Vee, which is already a buck less than Festival's store brand. Specific name brands tell a different picture, however. Hy-Vee sells a regular box of Kellogg's Raisin Bran Crunch for one cent less than their competition, while Festival is at a distant third. It's a similar case for snack food. Lay's Classic Potato Chips will cost under $4 at La Crosse's newest grocery store, while Woodman's isn't too far behind. There's a whole list of factors that impact the cost of everyday items, but as it turns out, the manufacturers may be preventing customers from getting a better bang for their buck. We're not only seeing price increases, we're also seeing something called shrinkflation, where we have less of a product. So maybe cereal, for instance, maybe there's a couple ounces less of cereal in it, but it's the same price. We're also seeing something called skimpification, where the ingredients change within the product. So they're using less expensive ingredients. So we may see some things in the products that we buy. It's just a little different, or there might be a little less because we don't notice that if the price doesn't change. And where people shop can depend on the commute, loyalty, and other reasons. But the numbers suggest that some stores have a plan and are sticking to it. Reporting from La Crosse, I'm Colton Emsweiler, WXOW News 19. Now, the prices you saw in that story are the retail prices not taking any sales or promotions into consideration. And all of the price comparisons can be found with this story on our news app and website, WXOW.com.